Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. This is a statement written by the awaited Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al Yamani on the date of the 21st of September 2019, and it is titled To every believer in Allah who believes to be one of the supporters of Allah and Muhammad, his servant and his messenger. This statement is being recited to you by one of his supporters. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon the Messenger of Allah Muhammad and all messengers before him, and upon those who supported them and followed their path. We do not differentiate between any of his messengers, and we are Muslim submitters to him. O community of senior scholars of Islam, every mufti in every Arab and Muslim country, I am the Imam Mahdi, the Caliph of Allah on earth. I ask every mufti in every Arab and non-Arab country to give up their pride and arrogance and enter into a debate with the Imam Mahdi on this website of mine, the Forum of Islam Good News, for a debate with the Imam Mahdi in the age of dialogue before the appearance. Each mufti can respond to this statement of mine in the section dedicated to him, showing their name and a photo of themselves. That is regardless of whether I, Nasir Muhammad, am indeed the awaited Mahdi or a merry insolent liar. You have to defend the values and teachings of the religion of Islam. If you find that I call you for the truth, and I am the most knowledgeable amongst you of the Book of Allah, and that I hold fast to it, and guide people by the clear ambiguous verses of the Quran to the path of the All Majestic, the Praised One, then support me and rightfully publicize me to all Muslim people. While if you find that I have gone astray from the straight path, then make it known to all Muslim peoples that I have gone in manifest astray, and guide me to the path better guided than the Holy Quran and the true prophetic teachings that do not contradict the clear verses of the Book of Allah. I only have one condition for you, which is that you accept Allah, my Lord and your Lord, as a judge between you in what you differ about in your religion. The only duty of the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad is to deduce the ruling of Allah for you from the ambiguous verses of the Book of Allah, the Holy Quran, an invariable promise upon us that the ruling will be easily understood by any ordinary person among you, let alone by your scholars of religion for its extreme clarity. O scholars of Islam, my beloved ones in the love of Allah, by Allah that there is no God but Him, none will follow me except them who are believers in the Book of Allah, the Holy Quran, and the teachings of Muhammad the Messenger of Allah that do not contradict the clear ambiguous verses of the Holy Quran. Surely this is a promise between me and every mufti in each Arab and non-Arab Muslim country. Since I know that I am Al-Mahdi, the Caliph of Allah, and that I did not forge a lie against Allah, surely it is out of sense and logic to announce the result of the debate between you and I that I will dominate over you by the authority of clear knowledge in the Holy Quran. So I will leave you with only two choices you make. Either you believe in the Book of Allah, the Holy Quran, or you turn away from it. And then, Allah would punish you with the disbelievers of the Qur'an among all other people in the world. And then you will never find besides Allah a helper or a supporter. That is the way of Allah with those who pass before you and you will not find any change in the way of Allah. So be aware of the wrath of Allah because of disbelieving in the Holy Qur'an or turning away from it. Indeed turning away from the Qur'an by those who believe in it is a greater sin to Allah than it is for those who disbelieve for the fact that these believers do not know that it is actually the truth from their Lord, and for that they do not believe in the Holy Quran. So are they equal in sin to Allah? In fact, Allah's wrath is upon the believers in the Holy Quran who turn away from it, and reject holding fast to it, and reject what contradicts with the clear verses in the Book of Allah, the Holy Quran. They are like those who conceal the truth received from their Lord away from people, despite knowing that it is the truth from their Lord. So there is no difference between them and those who reject it of the human devils, because both parties know that it is the truth from their Lord, yet they hinder people from following it and holding fast to it. Therefore, Allah is angry with them and curses them, and permits all people to curse them. In line with the word of Allah the Most High, إن الذين يكتمون ما أنزلنا من البينات والهدى من بعد ما بيناه للناس في الكتاب أولئك يلعنهم الله ويلعنهم اللاعنون إلا الذين تابوا وأصلحوا وبينوا فأولئك أتوب عليهم وأنا التواب الرحيم صدق الله العظيم
Those who conceal what we send down of the clear proofs and guidance after we have made it clear to mankind in the book, those Allah shall curse, and shall be cursed by the cursors, except those who repent and reform and declare the truth they concealed. Those, I will accept their repentance, and I am the acceptor of repentance, the most merciful. Witness this vow of mine all Muslims and the seekers of truth in the world. Whom Allah let them know about the call of Imam Mahdi, Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani in the age of dialogue before the appearance. Be my witnesses that I swear by Allah the Great, who revives the bone after they have decided, the Lord of the heavens and earth, and whatever is in between them, the Lord of the Great Throne, that all Muftis in all Arab and non-Arab Muslim countries cannot dominate over Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani with the knowledge of the Holy Quran, even if some of them were to be backed up by each other. Here I am. I have opened for each one of them a section on the front page of my website, the website of Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani, Forum of the Islamic Good News. I say come for a debate and back up and support each other in trying to respond to the Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani with knowledge from the clear verses of the Holy Quran. You have no arguments against me unless you establish your argument from the Holy Quran. So if you do, and you will never do, then may the curse of Allah and of his angels and all mankind be upon Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani. On the other hand, if it became clear to you and you learned that the Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani truly calls to the truth and guides by the glorious Quran to the path of the Almighty, the praised one, but you choose to conceal the testimony of truth, then keep it to yourselves and hinder others from following the call of the Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani after it has become clear to you then surely the curse of Allah and of the angels and of all people is upon you. That is because of your people are waiting for your fatwa ruling regarding the call of Imam Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani. But you are silent, not giving your fatwa or even you hint people, despite that it was made clear to some Muslim scholars and to the devils of jinn and mankind that the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani truly guides by the Quran to the straight path of your Lord. Allah the Most High said, إني توكلت على الله ربي وربكم ما من دابة إلا هو آخذ بناصيتها إن ربي على صراط مستقيم Surely I put my trust in Allah, my Lord and your Lord. There is no walking creature but he takes hold of it by its forelock. Surely my Lord is on the straight path. Perhaps all senior scholars, the muftis in every Muslim country, would like to say with one tongue, O Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani, wait, wait. You are either a crazy man, and craziness comes in different types, or you are the true awaited Mahdi, Nasir Muhammad the Caliph of Allah, the Lord of the Worlds. You have opened sections on the front page of your website, and you made a dedicated section for each Mufti of the Arab and non-Arab Muslim countries, so that you have a dialogue with us alone, and you prohibit all your supporters from interfering in the dedicated sections of the dialogue between us and you. Not only do we see you announcing the result of the debate in advance, which is that you will dominate over us with clear knowledge of the Holy Quran, but also that if we establish our argument against you in any point, the curse of Allah and of the angels and of all people is upon you. Then I, the Imam Mahdi Nasr Muhammad al-Yamani, would reply to you and say, that is because I know that I did not forge a lie against Allah, that I, Nasr Muhammad, I'm the Imam Mahdi, the Caliph of Allah over the worlds, fulfilling the promise of Allah and of his messenger, peace be upon him and his family, when he said, أُبَشِّرُكُمْ بِالْمَهْدِي يَبْعَطُهُ اللَّهُ عَلَى اخْتِلَافٍ فَيَمْلَأَ الْأَرْضَ عَدْلًا كَمَا مُلِئَ جُورًا وَظُلْمًا I give you the good news of the Mahdi, the guided one. He will be commissioned at a time when people disagree with each other. He will fill the earth with fairness and just, as it was filled with oppression and unjust spoke the truth, the Messenger of Allah. Let us take a look at this glad tidings from Allah by the tongue of his Messenger in the true prophetic Sunnah. Is it truly from Allah and his Messenger? But before we compare this hadith to the Holy Quran, I pose a question to all Muslims. Don't you see that you truly are in disagreement in religion, fighting amongst yourselves and some of you shedding the blood of others, sects and parties killing each other? And the answer can be seen in reality in the age of the rising of the Imam Mahdi to you, and of the collation of your arch enemies, 
to eliminate you and your religion and destroy your sanctities. Therefore, Allah raises the Imam Mahdi for the believing Muslims to turn into parties fighting each other to call these parties of the believing Muslims to enter into peace one and all to unite them after their disagreement and fighting. Verily, Allah commanded you to respond to the call of Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani who calls you to stop the fight between all parties of believers and to enter into peace altogether. Obeying the command of Allah to the believers who are fighting to stop the fight between them and to enter into complete peace. Also Allah warned you that if you sleep and disobey, then know that Allah the Mighty, the Wise, will make his Caliph prevail over you and over your enemy with the sign of punishment from him, by his power and his might, in line with the word of Allah the Most High, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِي نَفْسَهُ بِغَاءَ مَرْضَاتِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ رَعُوفٌ بِالْعِبَادِ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ادْخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَّةً وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌّ مُبِينٌ فَإِنْ زَلَلْتُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْكُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ فَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ And among men, he who sells himself to seek in the pleasure of Allah, and Allah is compassionate to the servants, O you who believe, enter into peace altogether, and do not follow the footsteps of the devil. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. But if you sleep after clear arguments have come to you, then know that Allah is the Almighty, the wise. Despite the fact that Allah raised me among you, while your dispute is still jurisprudent, I call you to resort for judgment to the book of Allah, so that I judge between you in what you deferred in. But if you choose to disobey, I warn you of a torment of the third degree, where your jurisprudent dispute escalates and turns to a bloody war. He Allah would then make some of you taste the violence of others, in line with the word of Allah the Most High. قل هو القادر على أن يبعث عليكم عذابا من فوقكم أو من تحت أرجلكم أو يلبسكم شيعا ويذيق بعضكم بأس بعض انظر كيف نصرف الآيات لعلهم يفقهون صدق الله العظيم Say he is able to send on you a torment from above you or from beneath your feet or confuse you so you become different sects and make some of you taste the violence of the other Look how we diversify the verses that they may understand I have been calling you for 15 years to take the book of Allah as the judge. I warn you from the wrath of Allah for turning away from his book because of turning away from the call to take his book as the judge. Yet you believe in it. So how could you be the first to turn away from the call of taking the book of Allah as the judge while you believe in it? O oh community of Muslims, do you not have sense? I warn you against following the steps of the devil Trump. Who wants the fighting between Muslims to continue so that they weaken each other to fulfill the plan of creating the greater Zionist state? All of you, Muslims, know that the enemy of Allah, the devil Donald Trump, is a clear enemy to you. There is no doubt in his enmity towards the Islam and Muslims. For that, Allah warned you against following the steps of the devil Trump and against continuing the fight between you. Allah ruled to you that Trump does not want to achieve peace amongst you. In fact, he is proof plain enemy. No doubt in that. In line with the words of Allah the Most High, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ادْخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَّةً وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ فَإِنْ زَلَلْتُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْكُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ فَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ صدق الله العظيم O you who believe, enter into peace altogether and do not follow the footsteps of the devil. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. But if you sleep after clear arguments have come to you, then know that Allah is the Almighty, the wise. Or do you not know about the warning to the believers from Allah and his messenger, that if you sleep after the raising of the Imam Mahdi among you to solve your disagreement, and you refuse but to go on with your wars between you, and you reject entering into peace altogether, then Allah has threatened you that he will exact retribution upon his enemy and torment you grievously and will make his caliph prevail over you by the sign of punishment from him in line with the word of Allah the Most High يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ادْخُلُوا فِي السِّلْمِ كَافَّةً وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا خُطُوَاتِ الشَّيْطَانِ إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ فَإِنْ زَلَلْتُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَتْكُمُ الْبَيِّنَاتِ فَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ صدق الله العظيم. O you who believe, Enter into peace altogether, 
and do not follow the footsteps of the devil. Indeed, he is to you a clear enemy. But if you sleep after clear judgments have come to you, then know that Allah is the Almighty, the wise. Or do you think that these verses are addressed to the people whom Allah sent among them Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family? You surely know that Allah sent the last of prophets and messengers with the Holy Quran to a disbelieving people who worshipped idols, while these verses show the mission of the Imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yamani at the end of times, when Allah sends him to people who believe in Allah and his messenger and the Holy Quran to call them to enter peace altogether after their disagreements. So do you see that Allah in these verses is addressing people who disbelieve in Allah, His Messenger and in the Holy Quran or are they addressed to believing people? The Imam Mahdi, who Allah raised, calls them at the peak of their disagreement to enter into peace and warns them against following the steps of the devil Trump who claims to be keen on peace between Muslims despite them knowing for sure that he is a clear enemy for them, without a shred of a doubt. He seeks achieving the greater Zionist state. The Zionists will start now and try to fulfill that after they have weakened the Arabs by setting the plot of getting them to fight between them. He wants to make Arabs enter into war with Iran now, to distract them with Iran's war while he begins the expansion of the Zionist state. They would then take the Palestinian people and kill them mercilessly, and destroy their houses and not your destruction. They will take what remains of the land of Palestinian, and kill and expel what is left of the Palestinian people. Then they will blow up Al-Aqsa Mosque completely. I see then the doom of Al-Aqsa Mosque flying because of the severeness of the explosion, then it falls into a sea or a river. O oh Palestinians, if Allah gives you victory against the Zionist army, and they re read, whether in defeat or in canon stratagem of war, then be aware not to pray a prayer of victory in Al-Aqsa Mosque, nor anywhere near it. That is because in their plot, they have planted explosive under beneath Al-Aqsa Mosque a long time ago. That, in case you gain victory against them. They know then that surely you will have to pray a prayer of victory in Al-Aqsa Mosque. Then, they will destroy it, an utter distraction with explosive of dynamite planted under beneath it. So you become shredded pieces, all of you who pray a victory prayer, after the Zionists have been driven away by the defeat or by a cunning tactic. So be careful until you remove the tons of explosive under beneath Al-Aqsa Mosque, so that your victory, if Allah grants you victory, does not turn into defeat. Do not descend this order. We still call the fighting Muslim countries to enter into peace altogether to face their enemy and the enemy of Allah, to spoil the planning and achieving of the greater Zionist state that they dream of. The era of the devil Trump is about to end, and they don't have much time left as you know, and their plot now became exposed to all those who have understanding, and none can grasp this fact except those with reason. O oh our Allah, I have proclaimed. O oh Allah, bear witness. This statement is to be posted in all sections we dedicated to the muftis of Muslim countries, also to be published to the world. The good ending is for those who keep their duty, and peace be upon the messengers, and praise be to Allah Lord of the worlds, the servant and the caliph of Allah, the Imam Mahdi Nasir Muhammad al-Yamani.